It's time to take a look at the new TCL 10 Pro, a very promising phone. I'm excited to open it up and check it out. You might be familiar with TCL from their TVs, so I'm hoping that HDR10 6.47 inch AMOLED display is good. Along with that, you have features like a 64 megapixel camera, the Snapdragon 875 processor from Qualcomm, a headphone jack, and it is priced very competitively at $450. Here is the TCL 10 Pro, also noteworthy, 128 gigs of storage and six gigabytes of RAM. Opening the box, there is our TCL 10 Pro. Set that to the side for a second as usual. And we have our SIM ejection tool and there's also a micro SD card in the TCL 10 Pro so you can expand that 128 gigs of storage. Opening it up, you'll see just some, uh, some booklets and then a display greatness case from TCL. So nice that it actually does come with a case included. Pretty standard charging cable and adapter, which is USB type A to USB type C. So that's everything that comes in the box. Let's check out the TCL 10 Pro. Take off some of this packaging on the back. Let's boot the phone up. Also review video is coming soon, so be sure to subscribe so you're notified when that goes live. I will be putting my SIM card in this phone, installing all my apps, and speaking of apps, my past experiences with the Bumble app is that I was able to have the most high quality conversations within it. An app video calling, so a woman can use that as their first move to do a video chat, or of course in response, a man can go ahead and start a video chat. So you can go ahead and do some virtual dating if you'd like. For some virtual dating ideas, you could order the same takeout, have a dinner together. You could even show off your crib, show off your living space and introduce them to your pets. And then you could even teach them how to mix and make your favorite drink. You can even add a virtual date badge to your profile so people know you are interested in video chatting. So that is the Bumble app. You can get it in the App Store, the Play Store. I will link to it down in the description below. So go check out the Bumble app. Right away, I'm noticing the back has curved sides to it. And then also, really nice. So look at the quad camera system on the back. It's completely flush with the back of the phone. However, the flashes, the LED flashes on the left and right hand side protrude out just slightly, which is actually a great thing because with phones that have completely flush cameras and nothing on the back, they slide on tabletops so easily. So the fact that these have LED flashes right here should make it so that this does not slide off the table. And then on the left side, make note of the rounded back and rounded front with the display. And you do have a separate button on the left side it's called a smart key, which you can customize. We'll talk about that in just a second. On the front here, you do have a bit of a notch for that camera placement and overall minimal bezels. So down at the bottom, that SIM card slot, micro SD card, a USB-C slot for charging microphone, and one of our speakers moving along the right side is where the power button is, volume controls up towards the top. Check this out, microphone and an IR blaster, so an infrared blaster, so you can go ahead and control TVs and such. And there is our headphone jack up towards the top. Also on the back is that 64 megapixel standard wide angle lens, 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. And then you have a five megapixel lens for macro shots. So getting really close to the subject. And then finally a two megapixel depth sensing lens. Let's go ahead and skip through the startup process. I'll talk about anything noteworthy. The 10 Pro does have an in-display fingerprint scanner. So let's go ahead and set that up. Just set our finger on where that fingerprint is at. Lift it on up. So fingerprint added, we can rename it if we would like to. Let's go ahead and continue on. You can also unlock with your face. So let's go ahead and do that. Continue, your face has been registered. We're, we are uh, ready to go. So we'll test both of those out. Let's go into settings and jump into display right away. Some status bar settings. Uh, you can actually get rid of that notch. So you can hide the front camera. We can try that out and you'll see that notch does go away. If you don't actually want that, just puts a color around the status bar. Looks also the NXT vision setting, maybe next vision, where it's going to adjust contrast, sharpness, and saturation to improve your screen image. So we can go ahead and leave that one on. Now also, whether you want the home and uh, app drawer or just the home screen only, I like to have the app drawer. Setup is complete. Let's go ahead and continue through. For the smart key on the left side, it does have some texture to it. You'll see it has a separate app here where you can really customize the action that it does. So a single press 
we can have it maybe launch the Google Assistant if we want to have it launch the camera in different modes to gallery, smart manager, edge bar, a bunch of different things like a flashlight. So let's say I want to have a double press. I want that to be a flashlight for sure. So let's go ahead and try that out. So double tap this button. What do you know? Both our uh, flashes are on there. Double tap to turn it back off. Good to go. And then if we press it once, it will go ahead and activate our Google Assistant. Kind of neat and convenient and great that you can customize. For those like they have a dark mode built in so we can turn that on and it's going to probably have a system-wide dark mode turning on between apps that you can schedule. I am really glad TCL decided to add a scheduler to their dark mode. Got a lot of questions about this one but they do have an always on display which is awesome to have for OLED displays. There's different styles to them if you want to mix up the clock change some things so let's go ahead and add that one so when we go ahead and lock our phone that always on display should come up there we go we can see the notification icons time date and battery percentage and that little uh jellyfish there so we can go ahead and lock our phone with our fingerprint scanner let's test that out again so let's go ahead and set it down with our lock screen up Set that on down. So seemed uh, seemed like it worked pretty well. I'm gonna have to get used to that position. It's a little lower than I'm used to, but uh, I find over time you do get used to it. I do also have that face unlock turned on. So let's go ahead and try that. And it unlocks it just about right away. And of course this is a bad angle. So nice to see that works well. Now noteworthy features, there is an edge bar that you can customize with apps, contacts. There's a ruler built in. You can change those if you want to. Going back, they also have a one-handed mode, game mode, driving mode and gestures, so you can have a three finger screenshot, split screen gesture, so you swipe up with three fingers to activate split screen. This app doesn't actually support it, but if we go into an app that does like the Play Store, swipe up with three fingers, and it will go ahead and activate our split screen mode. Finally, if you're wondering, this is TCL skin on top of Android 10, so the latest version of Android. To see jumping into our recent apps, you can clear all, you can go ahead and swipe up to get rid of apps. Let's see if we can actually activate some gestures. Um, going into settings, advanced features, system navigation. So they do have gesture navigation. So back from the side, it looks like they have more too, where you can swipe up from the corner to go back. But I actually prefer back from the side for sure. So let's swipe up to go home. If we go into settings, go into advanced and swipe from the right. It, would, it goes back, swipe from the left, it goes back, swipe up and pause, gets to our recent app. So you can activate gestures, you don't have to have buttons. Quickly, I wanna show off the included case on the phone. It does cover all of our buttons. Down at the bottom, there are cutouts for our charging port, etc., And of course, a cutout for our infrared and headphone jack. So overall, looking good. Definitely adds some grip to the sides and a little bit of thickness, so it makes it a little bit easier to hold. Couple more, let's jump into the camera app for the first time and just snap a quick picture. There's one, two, just to kind of see the shutter speed and check out some of the modes here. A light trace, I wonder what that actually is. Capture movement, capture light, or draw light. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna have to test out that mode for sure. More to come on that. Swapping through, you do a portrait, you have a pro mode. There's even that super night mode to take some long exposure shots. Of course, more to come in a future video, so stay tuned for that. So that's everything I wanna talk about with the TCL 10 Pro for now. Pretty exciting device at that $450 price point. Drop a comment, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.